We welcome you back to Eldora, the 27th Kings Royal. Some methanol being dumped in as we get set for the feature races now. And Jason Sides, the driver, doing a little work on his sprint car. And Brad, that gives us a chance right now to take a look at the anatomy of a sprint car. Here's our BR Motorsports cutaway car. And I can tell you that that's a sprint car, Brad, but <laughs> you can tell us a lot more. I'll tell you that it's hard to, to really see the detail in this car with our cameras here. If you can see this thing up close and personal, they have got everything cut and whittled on this car so you can see how it all works. If you look inside the cockpit, the seat right there, that's the drive line running back to the rear end, direct drive rear end. You see on the right here, the brake caliper, there's the shock absorber. The number 15 on the yellow tank, that's all fuel tank. There's wing mounts for the top wing cutaway of the fuel tank. You see the bladder inside of that, the fuel pickup on the bottom that run 28 to 33 gallons of fuel. In the left side, there's the headers outside of the engine. You see the head is cut off. I mean, this thing is really incredibly detailed on the work, workmanship that they've done. Good look at the rear tires. On your right is the right rear tire. On the left, the left rear. You see how much smaller? Another angle of it here. That's called stagger or rollout. Smaller left rear helps the car turn the corner. It's a good look at what a sprint car looks like. And a nice job done there by Brad Doty. That's why you get the big bucks as we get set now for the C Main. Here is the lineup for our C Main. We're going 10 laps. The top four will transfer. Tyler Walker has made repairs. He's back out there and ready to go alongside Brian Ellenberger. We have a scratch in Rob Cheney uh, from this event. So Lee Jacobs, Tony Lutar, Ben Gregg, Keith Blue. Brian Paulus, Jamie Miller, and Domain Ramsey from Australia set to go. Last chance for these guys. They have to finish in the top four to make it to the last chance showdown. So the C main, sometimes known as the consolation race, is ready to go. And it's Tyler Walker in the blue number 17 who gets the jump, but he's being challenged early down low. Now again, look at the racetrack. They put some water on this racetrack. So again, these guys not sure what the track surface is going to give them. Maybe taking a little easy this first lap or two, but the guys up front see Tyler Walker on the gas driving away. Yeah, and Tyler Walker, Brad, uh, because of this format tonight, his time trial will save him. If he wins this C main, he gets to start up front in the last chance showdown. So a lot on the line here for T-Dub. Yeah, unique format for this uh, $50,000 to win Kings Royal race. And these guys, again, a lot of good race cars in this C main. As Tyler Walker had trouble in his heat, doesn't mean they're slow because they're in this race. Good, fast race cars back here. Lee Jacobs running in the second spot right now, being followed by Brian Ellenberger in the TI-22 performance car number 22. Ellenberger, the 2009 World of Outlaws, Kevin Gobrek, Rookie of the Year. He has one career top five here at Eldora, and there is Tyler Walker in the King Transport number 17. Those guys really had to bust it to get this car ready for C-Main action. And we could so saw that earlier, that car was torn up pretty bad, hit the wall, tore the right rear off of it, tore the right front off, so they crew did a good job getting that car back out. He looks plenty fast at this point. Ellenberger trying to do what he can to reel in Lee Jacobs. Ellenberger, uh, former Rookie of the Year at Sharon Speedway. Track you know, well, Brad. Absolutely. One of, one of my favorite racetracks close to home. That's probably one of the reasons it was the favorite. Brian Paulus has gotten around Tony Lutar. Lutar is a man who is in the mix for the Kevin Gobrek Rookie of the Year this year behind Ben Gregg. Ben Gregg right now is the leading contender for the Kevin Gobrek Rookie of the Year for 2010. You see Gregg there in your picture right behind Tony Lutar. Uh, ben Gregg actually uh, listed as being a driver from Arizona, but grew up in the Ohio area. Yeah, not far from Eldora Speedway. So, you know, this is obviously not a home racetrack, but he has a lot of family back in this part of the country, and a lot of them here watching him this weekend. And he knows well the tradition of this race. As you look at Brian Paulus running in the fourth position, there's Utah and Ben Gregg running in fifth and sixth. Again, only the top four will advance. But Tyler Walker running out of time now here as he continues to lead. He may see a little traffic. One as a driver here at Eldora, Bob, you see this traffic come up. You could try to time it so you're not stuck behind him in the middle of the corner. See if you can get a run here. Now, if he can get to the inside. And the checkered flag flies, so not a problem there for Tyler Walker as he's able to get the win in our Constellation race. Over Lee Jacobs, Brian Ellenberger, and Brian Paulus will be the fourth one across the line. They all advance to our last chance showdown. And that will be the next race we see out on the racetrack. The last chance showdown will be the final opportunity for drivers to get themselves qualified for the 27th running of the Kings Royal. You're watching Speed. Welcome back to Eldora Speedway. There's a shot of Casey Kane, Paul McMahon, crew members having a little chat here as they discuss uh, what's about to go on. It's the last chance showdown coming up, and Shane is downstairs with the winner of tonight's C-Main event, and that's Tyler Walker. 
Tyler Walker, a little bit of alphabet soup for you here tonight. You won yourself the C, now you're in the B. What's the strategy? Uh, just go like hell and we, uh, we, we screwed up in our heat race. We had two laps to go. I, I really haven't felt very good all weekend in the car. I've got my leg, I got a torn ACL, so I'm working with that. But I just want to thank uh, Jesse and Lorraine Keene, my car owners, and my whole team working with me because I we've had a r rough couple weeks here with my leg and everything. And uh, my girlfriend, everybody that helps me out, and uh, Team Transportation, Shell Rotality, Maxim Engines, or Maxim Chassis, Rider Engines, Everybody that's helped me get back to where I'm at. I love what I'm doing. I'm Tyler Walker, one tough race car driver. And Tyler Walker, Brad, uh, will have a great starting spot for our Goodyear Last Chance Showdown. And let's explain that a little bit. He is the fastest going back to time trials now among the guys that have not yet qualified for the King's Royal. That's why he gets to start up here inside front row for our Last Chance Showdown. Those are used to watching the sprint cars on TV. Usually the C main winner starts in the back to B main, but again, this format completely different for the 50,000 to win here at the Kings Royal. And look at the names in this race. I mean, they, these are champion racers that uh, would be in a feature event on just about any other night at any other racetrack. But this is the Kings Royal. We are at Eldora, and only four of these 21 drivers is going to advance to the 40 lap Kings Royal. Tyler Walker gets the jump as we go to the lacrosse in car camera on the 5W of Lucas Wolf. Cars everywhere. Some somebody right on the very bottom there comes out in the fourth place. Look at that. All the lines all over the racetrack. Tim Kading uh, challenging Tyler Walker up front as they fly by. Dave Blaney still running in the third position right now at the completion of lap number one. Probably no two, no two more exciting sprint car drivers today than those two guys right there, Tyler Walker and Tim Kading. They will give people their money's worth. Los Angeles, California, and San Jose, California being represented here at the Big E right now as we work with Lucas Wolf in the 5W. That car, of course, being tuned by his father, Randy Wolf, a former racer, a very good racer out of the Central Pennsylvania region. Craig Delansky making a charge now as he closes up on Lucas Wolf. Four laps in. Craig, Craig, Craig Ginzer down on the bottom of the race. Very, track. very bottom. Trying to make something happen down there, Bobby. That, when, when, as a driver, everybody's around the top of the racetrack. You, you, if your car's not working at that part of the racetrack, you've got to move around and try to make something happen. That's what looks like Craig Tin Tinzer was doing. Craig Delansky coming after Lucas Wolf. Those two in a battle for fifth right now. Delansky a couple of wins this season. Lone Star Speedway and at Cedar Lake Speedway. The big game tree stands, car number seven. Lucas Wolf running right in front of him. The orange number 5W. That cushion moving up. It's treacherous, treacherous up there in that berm. You've got to be careful. You, you have to really be on the throttle hard when you lean that right rear into it. If you have to lift out of the throttle for any reason as you get the right rear up on that, it can suck the front end over right into the wall. So the driver has got to be very careful up there. Lucas Wolf working hard right now in the 5W to hold back the advances of Craig Delansky. What a great look right out of the back of that number 5W car. Now your leader in traffic. Walker picking his spots, slides up in front of Ryan Myers. Yellow light is on. Oh, it's Lucas Wolf. Just showed the in-car camera of Lucas Wolf. Heavy damage to the front end. Obviously, contact with a, a car or the wall as you see the front end push back in that thing. Lucas was running in the fifth position at the time that this uh, incident occurred. Let's see what happened here as we look at a replay. Oh, just what we've seen a couple of times tonight jumps the cushion. And it doesn't take much, just a little mistake, get over that cushion instantly in the wall. I'm noticing there on, on the, the top wing of that 5W, Brad, as we take another look from the rear view, you can see that the part of that wing is cut on the right side. What's that about? That's so the driver can see they're putting a lot of wing angle, standing the back of the wing up pretty high. That puts that right front corner down pretty low, especially on a banked racetrack. It's hard for the driver to see out the right side of the car. Some of the guys are trimming the bottom of that wing panel off. Well, the report over the radio is that Lucas Wolf is okay, but severe damage to the 5W, and uh, that's pretty much going to kill his chances of getting into the top 24 here that will qualify for the King's Royal. And we'll find out who those four are when we return. The World of Outlaws are brought to you by Super Clean. Not just clean, super clean. By Goodyear, get there. And by R2C, world-class high-performance filter. Well, it's not going to happen tonight for Lucas Wolf, but one man that is in the feature event is Sammy Swindell, and he's downstairs with Shane. 
on top of his hauler taking in the action of the B-May and Sammy Swindell getting ready for this 27th edition of the Kings Royal. You don't seem to be too pleased about what happened with your heat race or your starting position. Tell us about it. Well, it was just we were in a great spot, you know, to, to capitalize on getting the start on the front row. And, uh, you know, the start didn't work out for us. So around, you know, wound up run second. So I think I'll probably start 11th now. See if we can come from back there and win it. How good is the car? The car is really good. We just kind of struggle uh, a bit on the starts, you know. It doesn't really do anything wrong. It just doesn't really get going, you know, that, that first part. And it kind of let the guys gang up on me. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is today, so we'll, we'll we'll do the best we can with what we got. Sammy Swindell looking for his third Kings Royal win. Well, Sammy Swindell certainly knows his way around the Eldora Speedway. Tyler Walker and Tim Kading up there on the front row. Chad Kemenaw and Dave Blaney now making up row number two. Craig Kinzer, Craig Delansky side by side in row number three. Walker jumps on it. Four wide at the stripe as they race into turn number one. How about Kemenaw down low? Well, I said it earlier, the guys in the back needed timely restarts to keep them toward the front. The double file restarts obviously helped that. The guys in the back desperately trying to get up to the front. And it is desperation time right now for all of these guys trying to get into the top four and qualify for the Kings Royal. Craig Kins are coming on strong down on the bottom in the 11K. Well, his left front almost clipping the inside wall as he takes the bottom line through three and four. Right there battling with Dave Blaney. That is a battle for that final transfer position up front. It's still Tyler Walker followed by Tim Cading. Then it's Chad Kimenoff and Dave Blaney trying to hold back Craig Kinzer. Walker looking strong, though, with Cading right on his heels. Time running out. The white flag is out. There's the battle for that final transfer spot. Brad Blaney's got it. Craig Kinzer on the bottom because he has a run up of two. Can't quite get it there. Let's see if he dives to the inside, tries to put the slider, but I don't think he's close enough. Desperation moves, not going to get there. Tyler Walker wins the last chance showdown. Tim Kading finishes second. Blaney's going to hold on as Chad Kimenaugh is third. Blaney fourth. And Craig Kinzer is not going to make the cut. Tyler Walker gets the win. Well, certainly Dave Blaney knows what it takes to win the Kings Royal. Earlier, we asked a bunch of drivers what it would mean to them if they could pull it off. Uh, the win Kings Royal, that's right up there. That'd be the, probably the biggest win of my career so far. Uh, it's something that uh, my teammate Joey S. Saldana has done a few times, and uh, to put my name on that list would be a great accomplishment. Oh, my God, it would be fabulous. Um, definitely, it's definitely something that we've been uh, striving to do, and there's nothing more I would like to take that crown back to Dover, Missouri. I'd mean a lot to win this race. It's, uh, it'd be pretty difficult at this point, but I've, we've ran pretty decent Eldor in the past uh, so far. You know, it's been a good week for us, and, and we have fast race cars, so you never know. Well, final tuning and preparation going on right now for the 27th Kings Royal. 40 laps coming up. You're watching the World of Outlaws on Speed.